Did you know that Marcus Aurelius, one of the most respected Roman emperors, was also a devout Stoic? His secret wasn't wealth or power, but something far more profound. Today, you Stoic philosophers are about to discover what that is. How often have you felt overlooked or undervalued, despite your best efforts? It's a common struggle, but the solution lies in ancient wisdom that's as relevant today as it was centuries ago. Today, I'm going to show you how to turn the tides in your favor. Ever wonder why some people command respect effortlessly, while others strive hard to get a fraction of it? Is it charisma, luck, or something else? We're diving deep into this mystery and unraveling the stoic secrets to earning respect naturally. Here's a fact to ponder. Stoicism, a philosophy known for its practicality, holds the keys to unlocking a life of natural respect and influence. And the journey to this wisdom starts with understanding yourself. Seneca once said, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Let's shed these imagined barriers and step into a new realm of natural respect and influence, guided by the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. My journey into Stoicism began not as a quest for knowledge, but out of a personal struggle. Respect was something I deeply yearned for, yet it always seemed just out of reach. Despite my best efforts, I felt invisible, unheard, and undervalued. Then I encountered the teachings of Stoicism. This wasn't a sudden, dramatic shift, but a gradual awakening. As I started to weave Stoic principles into my everyday life, the impact was subtle, yet profound. Slowly, people began to take notice, valuing my opinions and seeking my counsel. What changed was not so much my outward behavior, but my inner perspective. Stoicism didn't teach me to be louder or more assertive. Instead, it instilled in me the virtues of integrity, empathy, and composure. I learned the art of focusing on what was within my control, my actions, my reactions, my values. A memorable moment that encapsulates this change was during a heated meeting. Tensions were high, voices were raised. Recalling the stoic virtues, I chose a different path. I remained calm, listened with intent, and when I spoke, it was with clarity and understanding. The room quieted, the atmosphere shifted, and for the first time, I felt a genuine sense of respect enveloping me. This moment was more than just a personal victory. It was a testament to the transformative power of Stoicism. Respect, I realized, isn't something to be forcefully seized. It's something that gently unfolds when you nurture certain virtues. And that's precisely what Stoicism enabled me to do. Now, as we embark on uncovering these Stoic secrets together, I invite you to join me in this enlightening journey. Our first step begins with a principle that reshaped my understanding of respect. Stay tuned until the end of this video, as I'll be sharing not just insightful Stoic secrets, but also practical tips and real-life examples that you can apply in your everyday life for tangible, positive changes. Now let's dive into the heart of Stoicism with our first secret. Secret 1. Living with Integrity have you ever met someone who, without uttering a word, exudes a sense of trust and reliability? That's the unseen power of integrity, a core stoic virtue, and the first secret in our exploration. But how does this silent virtue command such immense respect? Let's delve into this mystery. Integrity isn't just about being honest, it's a lifestyle. Imagine you're faced with a choice. Take credit for someone else's work or step back and speak the truth. The Stoics would choose truth, even at the cost of personal gain. This choice seemingly small is a monumental display of character. I remember a time when I was tested. A colleague had made a mistake, one I could easily have blamed on them. But recalling the Stoic principle of integrity, I chose to share the responsibility. This wasn't just about being fair, it was about aligning my actions with my core values. The respect I gained from my peers wasn't immediate, but it was lasting and genuine. But why does this matter so much? In our world where shortcuts and quick fixes are the norms, choosing integrity is an act of rebellion. It's a high stakes game where the reward is not just respect, but a legacy of trust and authenticity. Think about the leaders, the change makers, the ones who've left a mark. 
Their journey is marked by unwavering integrity. And the impact of this choice? It's like a ripple effect. One act of integrity leads to another, creating a wave of respect and admiration that extends far beyond your immediate circle. As we navigate through the rest of these Stoic secrets, remember, integrity is your foundation. As we embrace the Stoic journey, our second secret unveils a powerful, yet often overlooked aspect of commanding respect. The practice of empathy and understanding. Stoicism isn't just about personal fortitude. It's deeply rooted in our interactions with others. If you found value in our exploration today, please hit the like button. It helps me a lot. Stoic secret number two, practicing empathy and understanding. Empathy in the Stoic sense goes beyond mere sympathy. It's about genuinely stepping into another person's shoes, seeing the world through their eyes. Imagine a situation where someone reacts negatively. Instead of immediate judgment or retaliation, Stoicism teaches us to pause and consider their perspective. Why did they react this way? What struggles might they be facing? This understanding fosters a deeper connection and mutual respect. Think of a leader who is revered and respected. Often, it's not just their achievements that earn them admiration, but their ability to understand and empathize with their team. When you show genuine concern for others' viewpoints and feelings, you're not just seen as a leader, you're felt as one. This respect is earned not through authority, but through empathy. I recall a time when this principle turned a potential conflict into a moment of mutual respect. Faced with a colleague's harsh criticism, I chose to understand rather than confront. I asked about their concerns, listened intently, and responded with consideration. This simple act of empathy transformed our interaction, earning respect on both sides. In our fast-paced world, taking the time to understand others might seem like a luxury, but in Stoicism, it's a necessity. It's a silent builder of respect, forging stronger, more genuine relationships. As we continue to explore Stoic secrets, remember, empathy is not just about being kind. It's about being respected for your kindness and understanding. Embarking further into the Stoic realm, we encounter our third secret, a cornerstone of Stoic resilience. Maintaining composure in adversity. Stoicism doesn't just equip us to handle life's challenges. It teaches us to navigate them with grace and dignity. Stoic secret number three, maintaining composure in adversity. In the Stoic view, composure isn't just about keeping cool under pressure. It's a profound demonstration of control over one's emotions and reactions. Imagine facing a crisis or a high pressure situation. While it's natural to feel overwhelmed or reactive, Stoicism guides us to a different response. It teaches us to pause, assess, and respond with a clear, untroubled mind. This ability to remain composed, especially when others are losing their bearings, naturally commands respect and admiration. Composure in adversity is like a beacon in a storm. It not only helps you navigate through your challenges, but also inspires those around you. Consider a leader who remains calm and collected during a crisis. Their composure not only steers the team effectively, but also instills a sense of trust and respect. When you demonstrate that you can handle pressure with grace, people naturally look up to you. I've experienced firsthand how maintaining composure can transform a potentially negative situation. During a critical project, when everything seemed to be falling apart, instead of panicking, I remembered the stoic teachings. I took a step back, evaluated the situation calmly, and guided my team with a composed approach. This not only helped us overcome the challenge, but also elevated my respectability in the eyes of my team. As we delve deeper into stoic wisdom, it's important to remember that composure is more than just a reaction. It's a state of being. In our next exploration of Stoic secrets, keep in mind that your ability to remain composed in adversity doesn't just resolve the immediate challenge. It builds a lasting foundation of respect and reliability. As we delve into the power of maintaining composure in adversity, I'm eager to hear from you. Have you ever encountered a moment where staying calm was crucial? Maybe you're currently facing a challenge and need some guidance. Please share your experiences and thoughts in the comments below. I not only read your comments, but also draw inspiration from them. 
Each story you share enriches our Stoic philosophers community, creating a space where we can all learn and grow. Let's continue to support and inspire each other on this Stoic journey. As we journey further into Stoic wisdom, we encounter a pivotal principle that can revolutionize not just how we handle situations, but also how we are perceived by others. This is our fourth secret, focusing on what you can control. Stoic secret number four, focusing on what you can control. At its core, Stoicism teaches us to distinguish between what is within our control and what is not. It's about directing our energy and efforts towards our own actions, decisions, and thoughts, rather than external events or the actions of others. Imagine the freedom and clarity that comes from this realization. You stop getting entangled in situations beyond your influence, which not only brings inner peace, but also elevates your stature in the eyes of others. People start respecting you for your calmness and ability to focus on what truly matters. One of the most tangible benefits of this stoic practice is the avoidance of unnecessary conflicts. When you're centered on what you can control, you don't react impulsively to provocations or get drawn into petty disputes. This doesn't mean you're passive, it means you're selectively active, choosing your battles wisely. This discernment is a hallmark of respectability. Others see you as a person who is composed, pragmatic and focused, qualities that naturally command respect. I recall a time when this principle profoundly impacted my interactions. In a heated debate, instead of defending my ego or trying to control the outcome, I focused on presenting my viewpoint calmly and respectfully, accepting that the final decision wasn't mine to make. This approach diffused the tension and earned me the respect of both my peers and superiors, who appreciated my composed demeanor. As we move forward, remember that the stoic approach to control isn't about resignation, it's about empowerment. By focusing on what you can control, you become a beacon of stability and reliability. Share your thoughts in the comments. How have you applied this principle in your life? Your experiences are a valuable part of our collective journey as stoic philosophers. As we arrive at our fifth stoic secret, we explore a virtue that quietly but powerfully commands respect, demonstrating humility and a willingness to learn. This principle is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy and a key to genuine, lasting respect. Stoic secret number five, demonstrating humility and willingness to learn. Humility in Stoicism isn't about diminishing one's own value. It's about recognizing our place in the larger tapestry of life. It involves acknowledging that we don't have all the answers and that there's always more to learn. This form of humility isn't a sign of weakness, rather it's a mark of strength. When you're humble, you're approachable, you're open to new ideas, and most importantly, you're real. People respect those who can admit their limitations and are always striving to grow. A willingness to learn is another aspect deeply ingrained in Stoic philosophy. It's about being a lifelong learner, constantly seeking knowledge and wisdom, not just for the sake of knowing, but for the sake of becoming a better person. This trait is incredibly attractive and respectable. People are drawn to those who are continually evolving, who see every experience as an opportunity to learn and improve. I remember a moment when these virtues significantly shifted my perspective. Faced with criticism, my initial reaction was to defend my stance. But recalling the Stoic teachings, I chose to listen and learn instead. This humble approach not only diffused potential conflict, but also opened doors to new insights and garnered deep respect from my peers. Now I invite you to reflect on the quiet power of humility and the willingness to learn. These are not just virtues to be admired. They are practical tools for earning respect and enriching our lives. Share in the comments. How has embracing humility or a learning mindset impacted your relationships and respectability? Let's continue to grow and learn together as Stoic philosophers. As we've explored these five Stoic secrets to gaining respect, it's important to see how they can be applied in our daily lives. Let's go beyond theory and delve into practical, actionable tips, accompanied by real-life examples to guide you. Practical Application of Living with Integrity Start by evaluating your daily decisions. Ask yourself, 
Am I being true to my values with this choice? For instance, if honesty is a core value, practice being transparent in your communications, even in small matters. Remember, it's these small acts of integrity that build a foundation of trust and respect. Empathy and understanding in daily interactions. To practice empathy, try to actively listen to others without immediately forming a response or judgment. For example, when a friend or colleague expresses frustration, instead of offering quick advice or dismissal, truly listen to understand their perspective. This builds deeper connections and fosters mutual respect. Maintaining composure in challenging situations. Next time you're in a stressful situation, take a moment to breathe and center yourself before reacting. This could be as simple as taking a few deep breaths before responding to a provocative email. This composure not only helps you respond more effectively, but also earns you respect for your calm approach. Focusing on what you can control. Practice this by identifying areas in your life where you feel overwhelmed. Break them down to distinguish between what you can and cannot control. Focus your efforts only on the former. For example, you can't control others' opinions, but you can control how you react to them. Demonstrating humility and willingness to learn. Embrace opportunities to learn, especially from situations where you might have made mistakes. When you're wrong, admit it openly and learn from it. This could mean acknowledging a mistake at work and seeking feedback for improvement. Such humility is a powerful respect builder. By incorporating these stoic principles into your daily life, you not only gain respect but also enrich your personal and professional relationships. Remember, stoicism is not just about understanding these principles, it's about living them. I encourage you to share in the comments how you've applied these stoic secrets in your life or any challenges you've faced in doing so. Together, as stoic philosophers, we continue to grow and learn from each other's experiences. Now take a moment to reflect. Which of these secrets do you feel most compelled to apply in your life right now? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear which point resonated with you the most and how you plan to integrate it into your daily practice. And if you're seeking more Stoic wisdom, don't miss our video on 13 powerful Stoic reasons to prioritize yourself now. It's full of insights that can transform your approach to self-care and personal growth.